Police think the suspected burglar came into the restaurant men's room, then somehow disabled the lock from the inside so no one else could get in, then climbed through the roof, heading for the office here. But boy, did he miscalculate where the office was located. Watch this surveillance as ceiling tiles and debris come crashing down in the middle of the restaurant, but that wasn't the real show. Moments later, the suspect himself came through the ceiling, toppling onto diners. Then this man, identified as 30-year-old Justin Grimes, tried to dine and dash, so to speak. That's the suspect back on surveillance, trying to run for it. Patrons held him for police. They came through the ceiling. They were trying to get the safe. A staffer in the front of the large restaurant called 911, though she didn't have a clear view of what was going on. Minutes before the suspect dropped, customers and employees heard noise coming from the ceiling. You can see them all looking up. As the manager was on the phone with 911 dispatch, the guy falls through the ceiling on a patron. Unbelievable. Investigators say Grimes cut a hole in the bathroom ceiling and was trying to crawl to the office where the safe's located. It's the next room over from the restrooms, but instead he wound up in the ceiling over the dining area and stumbled into sushi. We got him. Can you send police over here? They got him and got right back to business, replacing the ceiling tiles. But the story reigned supreme at the Hibachi Grill and Supreme Buffet. Police say the suspect denies he was trying to burglarize the restaurant. He allegedly told them he ran in there to hide from a woman who was going to call the police on him because he had an active warrant. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.